Hi, I'm Elliot Lee, and I'm here with the futsal captain, Josh Kane, just coming off the back of an 8-3 varsity loss. So, Josh, talk us through what happened in the game. Uh, well, we started off the game quite bright. We matched them for probably the first five minutes, then they got the first goal, which was fine. We were under pressure, so we're happy to accept that. And then I think we made a mistake with both myself and the coach. The two most experienced heads came off the court at the same time, and in the 90 seconds we were off the court, we conceded three quick goals. Um, so we were chasing the game from that point onwards. We got back into game, we, we played a little bit of fly goalkeeper, um, got the score back to 5-3, and then a couple more mistakes in the last 90 seconds, we conceded three, so we lost 8-3. Matched them for the 30 of the 40 minutes, so yeah. we're not displeased with our performance, but we know where we've lost the game, why we've lost the game. We, we have to accept that we're the better team, mm. and that's fine. And is there anything you changed with the tactics of the side or anything like that, or what was the changing moment in the game? Yeah, as we said, or as I said before, it was taking the two experienced heads off the court. We lost the game management and the defensive side of the game, and that cost us big time. If we were to change tactics before the game, I think we'd change how much respect we gave them. We mm -hmm. knew they were going to be a far better team than last year, but we gave them too much respect and we dropped off and we invited too much pressure. So what we should have done was play the game higher up the court and put them under more pressure, mm -hmm. and that would have allowed us to be out of our half and basically be more of a threat towards their goal and give them more risk to what they were doing. Mm. And in terms of our scene in the future, what would you change about how you've prepared to start with for next season? Uh, not getting injuries to two key players. That, <laughs> that would be a really good start. Mm. Um, last year, we also had our coach, Alex Chill. He helped us on the sidelines. We didn't have that this year. And just having someone on the sides just to read the game in a different way to the players are on the court is a real big bonus. Someone to manage the subs, manage the players on the court at the right time, stuff like that. Mm. So that was a big thing. Uh, but yeah, the injury to Pete, who broke his foot in January, meant he hasn't been able to coach us until halfway through March. So we've had three weeks with him, which is a big thing. And then I got injured as well uh, th four weeks ago, which meant I've been on the road to recovery, rushed it which means I'm still injured. And I think you could tell that some players just weren't up to speed and that, that showed in the end. Mm. Perfect. Just one last question. If you could give a man of the match to anyone on your team, who would it be? Um, for me, it would have to be Jack Costerton. He ran tirelessly. He held the ball up well for us and he even nicked our first goal. So for me, it's got to be Cozzy. Perfect. Cool. Thank you very Cheers, much. Cheers, Josh. Thank you. Thank you for that. We'll see you next time on Parklife Sport.